So I wanted to show you how to understand your iLearn report from the state. So the iLearn test is the test that Indiana requires all students to take in third, fourth, fifth, and sixth grade. You will be getting this coming home soon. This particular one is for reading, however you read it the same, whether it is reading or math. So the first thing we have here is your student's score. That is their individual score level and their proficiency level. This tells you their Lexile, or if you're looking at math, it will tell you their math level, and then if they are college and career ready, depending on their fifth grade level. What I really like is this sliding scale here. So look for your child's little triangle. That tells you where they are at. Now, some students, they are really, they're in the yellow, but they are right there on the line. Some students are in the green and they are right there on the line, almost to the blue. So this little arrow does move depending on how well they did. Obviously, if they performed poorly, it's going to be farther this way. If they performed well, it's going to be farther this way. But you can have, you can have some changes even with in the green. Some students may be really close to the yellow in the green. This student in particular is kind of right in the middle of the green, or they could be really close to the blue in the green. Same with the yellow, same with the red, same with the blue. Um, and then down here, I do like this as well. This is how well all fifth grade Hammond students did. So in all of School City Hammond, the average score was 5460. So then you can look at your child's score and see, okay, how well did my child do according to all the fifth graders in Hammond? The second one is just for Thomas Jefferson fifth grade students. So the average score for Thomas Jefferson fifth grade was 5500. So as you can see, our students performed better than the average Hammond student. Um, and this student in particular performed better than our average um, Jefferson student. So you can kind of use these three numbers. Again, the top number is for all of School City Hammond's average. The bottom number is just fifth grade at Thomas Jefferson average. So that kind of lets you know where your child falls within all of the Hammond students or within Jefferson. Now down here, I can see last year's. The, the, this student in particular was in the green last year. And then they also did show growth according to this year and they still stayed in the green. Some students may be in the yellow over here and then you see an arrow going up to green. Um, I believe, you know, you should definitely see a upward slope on these and that just kind of tells you your child's growth from last year I learn to this year I learn. The colors do tell you where they fall at in this or also here it tells you red means they were below or if it, you see any red here. Yellow means they are approaching, so they are very, very close. Green means they are at proficiency. That means they are at grade level. So you would see it here. They were in the green here and here. Blue means they are above grade level or above proficiency. So you would see it here and possibly here or here. So look out for those colors. Look and see where your child's arrow is, how close it is to the next section, and then look down here and see how much growth they had. That is awesome. So this student did, we did see a lot of growth with this student, which is awesome. So I hope that that helps you understand how to read your iLearn report a little bit better.